everyone, Tori the Crafty Girl here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable oversized cardi. Um, it's super cozy, super fast. You can actually make this in a weekend. I'm not kidding. You can totally make this in a weekend. It really is the bulk of it with your knitting machine. Um, it's going to be four pieces, and I'm going to walk you through what that looks like. Um, the four pieces themselves, you could probably make those in one hour, maybe 90 minutes. Uh, the bulk of the project is really going to be with what you decide to um, do as your finishes or your accents. So the crochet accent detail that I've added on this um, around the collar and the cuffs and then the bottom as well, um, that took me a few hours to do because crochet definitely you know it's it's by hand it takes a little bit longer um, but you don't have to do that you can customize this in so many ways that work for you um, and the best part about this project is it is flexible sizing so I wanted a big oversized snuggly just wrap up like a blanket um, sweater I have multiple mannequins it fits on everything from like a 12 14 down to a 2 um, that's about what I am and I'm really happy with the way this design turned out. So stick around, let me show you how easy it is for you to make this cozy cardigan. For this project, we'll be using four circular knitting machine pieces. For the body, I made two panels at 180 rows. For the sleeves, I made two tubes at 80 rows a piece. Adjust both of these pieces as necessary. I'll link some helpful videos in the description below if you're just starting out. All right, now before we move into the construction of the actual garment, we need to do a couple of finishes. Uh, so first of all, this first sleeve, I just did a single crochet, but I finished the ends right here with crochet, but I'm not done. If I would leave it like this, um, these sleeves are going to be definitely too big for me, not the aesthetic that I'm looking for. I want something um, that's going to actually create a cuff at the bottom uh, because I like being able to push up my sleeves. So there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, you can create a band. In fact, I did this as a test. I crocheted some little bands to come back in and attach them. And then I decided uh, I didn't really care for that look. So I scrapped that idea. Um, and then what I ended up doing is just attaching the band directly to the sleeve. So here is the finished sleeve here. And so what I did is I took my uh, Karen um, pa one pound yellow, this gorgeous little yellow color, um, so it would contrast. And uh, I essentially did what I do. I did um, a few rounds of decreases to get it to shrink down. And then I did three rounds of single crochet and that gets you to this right here and how cute is this and when you put it on I really like the contrast of the chunky yarn because this Karen Simply Soft is really soft it stretches a lot it has a lot of um, movement to it and this is definitely a lot bulkier it's a bulky yarn um, and I do like the contrast of those together so you do not have to do this piece this is um, absolutely just something you could do you can do many other things to this you could um, use um, elastic and you could weave elastic through here and maybe create your own elastic bands. Um, you also could just do a chain. Um, so you could chain, uh, you know, a long chain and then weave it through and then have like a tie sleeve. So lots of options when it comes to finishing your sleeves. So I'm going to go ahead and add the cuff to this sleeve right here and then we will dive into the next step. Now that we've finished the cuffs, it's time to attach the sleeves, but no worries, it's not as scary as it sounds. So you'll start with your two pieces here, and you're gonna take one panel and fold it in half. Um, so you do wanna find the halfway point so that your sleeve is going to lay up appropriately. And you can count your stitches if you want. I did not get that um, granular. I just really lined it up with the first sleeve um, and then I put the sleeve here. Now you'll notice that the wrong side of the piece is actually facing out. And so you do wanna make sure that's the case. So um, the sleeve is going to be right side out and then it's gonna go inside here so just take a look what I'm doing right here it's gonna go inside and I'm actually pinning there on the corner just to make sure it doesn't shift around 
So you're essentially gonna have right sides together. If you sew it all, it's that same concept. So we have right sides together. Now, using the same color yarn, you'll graft your sleeves to the body. I recommend using a piece of yarn long enough to go around the sleeve and down the side, um, and then just starting from the bottom of one side and working around to the other side so you can continue to attach the sides with the same yarn. It just makes it so much simpler. For this project, I used a simple stitch just to attach the sleeves to the body, but typically I would use crochet and you can attach them however best works for you. For this method, I picked up one loop from the sleeve and then one loop from the body and continued a, a sort of mattress stitch all the way around, picking up one loop at a time and leaving no major gaps. Um, there were times where I had to go around uh, a couple of times of the same loops just to make sure that there weren't any gaps in the sleeve. Then when I got back around the sleeve, I made sure to reinforce the bottom of the sleeve with additional stitches, and then just did a mattress stitch down the side to connect it. For the second sleeve, I did the same process, but used the first sleeve to measure the placement of the other sleeve so that it would be perfectly aligned. And the last piece of this step is just to remove the waist yarn just from where it is connected at the shoulders. Now that both sleeves are done, it's time to attach the pieces at the back seam. Um, for this, I used a mattress stitch, and I'll go ahead and link another video below that shows you the easiest way I found to do mattress stitches. Um, so for this piece, I've already marked how high I want my seam to go, but I would recommend trying both pieces on um, at this point and just measuring where you think it should go for your desired fit. And then once you've made sure you have the right fit, then you'll cut off and tie the yarn. Now it's time to finish the bottom. I'm adding six rows of single crochet using a different color for contrast. Then I just removed the waist yarn. Here's an update for where we are. Um, so I just added, um, I think I did six single crochets on the bottom just to give it another color accent because um, I had the, you know, the yellow down here and then I have the green here. And this is what she looks like so far. I have her on, um, again, this is a very flexible size. So this model right here, I think is a 12. Um, so this, or this mannequin, I think is a size 12 and this would fit perfectly. Um, but also it will work on a size two, right? You just, it was just gonna be a little oversized. Um, so here, I'm, again, I wanted to show you, it's not done. Let me show you what the back looks like so far. So here's our back. Now, the one thing I will tell you, this mattress stitch that I did is pretty invisible, which is awesome. Um, the problem is this yarn, this Karen Simply Soft, is so stretchy. If you get it wet, if you um, get it, you know, steam it or anything like that, it stretches out. And because the mattress stitches are so static and so tight, you can see as we get down to the bottom how it starts to do kind of a little pucker thing. So this has to do with my skill level, um, but I think that next time I won't, I may not do a mattress stitch, I may do a crochet stitch with this specific yarn um, because that, that can happen. But this isn't really gonna bother me. Once I put it on, so I steamed it to try to get it, you know, quickly get a shape. Um, and then yeah, see, for some reason that's going like, I don't know, that actually doesn't bother me. It kind of looks intentional. So we'll just, we'll say it's intentional there. Uh, but the last thing I'm gonna do now, I already tucked all my tails. The last thing I have, um, you'll see that I have just this one yarn tail here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab a red and I'm going to do, again, another border. And I'm gonna go, um, I may not go six because this is six rows. Um, and if I do six on both sides, that's gonna get pretty big. So I might go three on both sides um, because I do wanna add some buttons. And I think that if I do three on both sides, it'll work. So I'm gonna start on this side. I'm gonna attach my red yarn here. And then I'm just gonna do single crochet all the way around and then back around and then back around. And then that should um, suffice. Now, one other thing, again, this project is so customizable and there's so many things you can do. You don't need your borders. You can add fringe at the bottom. Um, you could have flare sleeves or bell sleeves. Really, this is just remember, four pieces. One, two, three, four. Four pieces that you put together, whichever makes sense to you. Um, anyway, that's what I'm going to do next and stay tuned for the finished reveal. For the collar, I ended up doing four crochet rows and adding six buttonholes. And then I just lined up the opposite side with the holes and then sewed the buttons right on.
Now here are the buttons added. So um, for my size right here, I think I do one, two, three, four, five. I use six buttons. This one's more of a decorative top button. Um, I will button it if I get a little chilly, but this is kind of the full look here. Um, this mannequin is a size eight and I showed you already, it fits perfectly on a size 12. It might even fit on a 14. Um, again, you can adjust this to fit whatever size you want. I just wanted to have a nice, comfy, cozy, oversized look. So let me show you what it looks like on. Okay, so here's the final uh, product. So again, super big, oversized, snuggly. I love it, cozy. It's, I just, I just wanna live in this. Um, it's gonna be like 98 degrees today, so I will not be wearing this very long, but um, adorable. So we have our cuffs here with the chunky cuff, and then we have our little chunky edging here at the bottom, and then our beautiful, buttons here and then you'll see it's it stretches it's definitely flexible and it's so easy you could totally do this you can do this in a weekend you can bust it out and you can customize it um, I'm gonna use kind of the same concept and I think I'm gonna make a cropped version and I'm actually gonna make the panels um, less so it'll be a little bit snugger so you can do a lot of different things with this you know, essentially with four pieces, four pieces, and you can customize this, whatever you want. Um, if you do make this tag me, let me know, show me your customizations, show me, uh, um, what, what you are inspired to make. Um, and if you have any questions, make sure to pop those below in the comments as well. So that is it, everybody. Hopefully you like this content. Don't forget to like, and subscribe. And until next time, see ya.